Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you find the videos useful and help in your designing process. If you do, please smash that subscribe button, tap on that notification bell, leave me a comment, please. I really love to hear from you. And uh, hit the like, share the content. Uh, and also, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee right around this area here, you can uh, go ahead and hit that super thanks button and donate a cup of coffee to me. I'd really appreciate it. I love my coffee. Uh, Mastering Matrix Gold, uh, a smooth transition from Matrix. Our second session will be this Tuesday, February 13th at 11 a.m. So uh, Central Time USA. So please check your local time zones. Uh, and I'll post a registration link below. This is open to anybody with an active Matrix Gold Gym Vision Academy membership. So if you have a membership, I really appreciate you going ahead and uh, maybe stopping in and watching some of the, the show on Tuesday at 11 Central Time USA. Uh, we're going to be going over the gumball. We're going to be going over how to think about uh, parametric history. And I think uh, you might find uh, one or two of those uh, things pretty interesting in there. Uh, but we're going to dive into parametric history uh, quite a bit uh, and how to go about thinking about it before you start designing. Uh, it, it's really, uh, uh, I think, going to be a, a good show for many of you, especially if you're brand new new to matrix gold uh and if you've been a uh, uh, you know with matrix for a while i think this content is going to also be something that you might be interested in so uh please uh, go ahead and register if you have an active membership uh, in the link below in the description uh let's get going on today today's thing uh, we're going to talk about rendering and we're going to be going over the emissions for rendering and what emissions is it's kind of like a light source right uh it's it's really pretty cool i i think it's fun uh so what we're going to do is first kind of bring some things in and right here i have a an item that i just made a plane and made a little uh frame around it uh, for the most part so nothing spectacular here it's just i'm gonna go ahead and grab that though maybe we want to give it some more shape so let's bump it out something like that um <laughs> kind of boring right uh we're also going to go in and grab me a solid and we'll do a ball uh we'll just go ahead and put a ball out here and let's see what else we want to do oh we want to get a, a plane uh, so we need a really large plane for this uh, just so that it shows up really nice uh, and I'm going to make a huge plane uh, and something like that and I'll actually even go ahead and make it a bigger so we have something like that we can drag that back a little bit so that it will kind of take up our whole view right so once we get in here uh, and then we're going to go to our i believe it's our solids at right here uh text and we're going to just grab some text and i found this text here that i kind of like for this particular uh content and video uh so i'm going to take uh this text here it just says party and i'm going to use the solids and i'll go ahead and drag this on out here and i'll put it in my front viewport above my uh plane there or my picture frame right uh, and then i'll just go ahead and select it and i'm going to make this uh much bigger something like that right <clears throat> just this party so and i need to drag my ball up uh, a little bit and we'll just kind of keep everything fairly close together and we can yeah this top view is not going to really be but this this view here and maybe this view over here we, we're going to be using a little bit and i got rid of all the uh, commands over here because we don't need them for uh, this exercise here just give us a little bit more real estate and i'll just drag it over to there uh the first thing i'm going to do is i'm not going to use the render in engine well it's the same engine it's just a different way of doing it uh go to the render here and use that i want a more uh kind of control uh, so I'm going to go straight into my uh, rend op options, right? So I, I got my Rhino options. If you don't know how to do this, uh, I guess I should show just in case there's somebody out there who doesn't know how to grab their options. Just go to your OPTION, type in options at the bottom. It'll pull out your render options. Go to toolbars. Make sure you're on your default. Scroll down there. Uh, I just go ahead and grab them all. Uh, the 16 tabs and then go ahead and hit OK and then you can drag it 
and snap it to the top there. Now I'm going to go to my options. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to render because I, I need to change this up a little bit for this particular exercise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch here to solid color. I'm going to change it from white to black and hit OK. Uh, and then I'm going to scroll down uh, and I'm going to turn off uh, my reflections and I am going to turn off my uh, sunlight there which will get rid of all that there uh, right uh, and that should be it all I want to do I think uh, what the first thing we want to do is we'll just go ahead and grab this uh, and if you go to properties that'll show it'll show you the properties here this will be the properties for your viewport your camera your target uh, but we'll just keep it like this for right now I'm going to select this and then I'm going to go to apply a uh, material and we'll grab a material and we'll just get the plus sign here and we'll import something from our library and this one I'm going to do uh, uh, maybe a pattern. Yeah, we'll just do a pattern, a real easy one. And then uh, this is that material, right? So if I go to materials and I scroll down here one, that'll be this one here, diamond tile, right? And I'm just going to take it, drag it, and assign it to this. So it's assigned. And if I go to my ray traced, uh, you can see it's out there, right? Okay, so I'll go... Uh, back to shaded here for right now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and hit the plus sign again uh, this time what i'm going to do is just do a physically based material uh, and select it of course and then i'm going to go down here to my detailed set you only need to do this on the first one because then we can uh, just copy this for the most part so this part here just do it for the first one and we'll just grab emissions right and it'll give us this uh, detailed settings area here this is our uh how strong it is and this will be our color right so i'll go ahead and select that and we'll take the first one to a nice green color let's see let's do this green here and we'll just go ahead okay uh and it's set to a one uh we'll just leave it there for this uh, and then we'll grab it and we'll put it on uh, that p there and we'll grab it again and put it on the outside so that whole p now will be uh green right so if i go to my perspective and go back to ray trace now i have a glowing p and if i want to change that intensity i can take that up to maybe a five uh, and you can see i get a, a nice light source going on right and i am going to switch this over here so it's not going through the 1000 we'll just change it to a 50. Uh, that way it's my computer's not going to be uh, Eight up like crazy so we'll go back to shaded now since we have this one already assigned as a uh, uh, emissions right uh, what we can do is just go ahead and right click on it and then come down and duplicate it right so it gives us another one and this one we can change to a different color we can go to maybe a, a blue color let's go to this blue here and let's go okay and then we can take this blue and assign it to our a and then we can just go ahead right click again because it's all set to uh, emissions and we can duplicate it again and this one we'll go ahead well we'll select it uh, and then change it to maybe a pink and hit ok and then we'll drag this one to RR here and we'll grab it again to RR there alright and let's duplicate that again so we'll duplicate duplicate it and we'll change the color to this one to maybe a uh, red or something yeah that's good uh and we'll go ahead and hit okay uh and then we'll take this one and drag it over to our t and then for the last one uh we'll duplicate it one more time duplicate and we'll change uh this one to i don't know uh, do we have a green I think we do oh i gotta pick my color here let's see let's take it to uh let's see uh we'll try orange and we'll go ahead and hit okay and then we'll take this one and drag it over to whoop take this one and drag it over to our y and now when i if i go back to ray traced 
I have all different kinds of colors out there, right? That one doesn't look too orange, does it? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so, you know, you can kind of uh, change that up. Let's see. We can we can always change that color. Uh, let's see. Uh, deeper orange, maybe. Huh. It's not giving me a very good orange there, but that's no big deal. All right, so we have all that set up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select my picture frame. Uh, not my frame, but my picture here. And I'm going to duplicate this again right uh and select it and then down here it's set to orange i'm going to change it to a, mm, a light white all right and I, i'm definitely going to change that down to maybe uh maybe a one should be okay and then i'm going to add something else on too i'm going to click here to assign a texture right and i can put use a picture at, for illumination so i'm going to select this picture uh and then i'm going to take this and then just drag it right on there and of course sometimes it'll go back to this what you'll need to do is just click on your perspective go to a different uh, shading mode uh, and then go back to ray trace and now I have a picture on my uh, in my frame that is a uh, actual light source so if I was to take my all the lighting up here from these letters and I would just go ahead and hide them right and then i go back to my uh get it off and refresh it basically and then go back to ray traced i have an illumination this is an illumination if you look you can see it's illuminating but it's set real low we can bump that up to i don't know three uh, and you can see it's giving us more illumination out there right so uh you know you can play around with that uh however uh to get all kinds of different illumination effects right so if i go in here there we go all right so let's go and uh, let's grab let's see i just want to create another layer here and we'll go to a plastic this time and the plastic will just take this and change it to a nice red color and we'll hit okay and the plastic will go ahead and apply to this picture frame Right now I have a red picture frame. And if I bring back my others, go ahead and show. Uh, it, of course, we have to refresh. So we'll go back and we'll do another layer or display. And then we'll go back to that. And now we have this out here with our lettering up here. And if that lettering's too bright, you don't want it that bright, you can always go back and uh, change the, 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 you know, we have it set out of five. That's pretty, pretty intense. We'll take it down to a two. We'll take it down to a two. Go back through that one's already a two. This one's a five. Let's change that back to a two. And we'll change this one back to a two as well. All right. And our diamond, I don't think we have any diamonds out there. So, all right. So we have two, two. Oh, that one's a five change that one to a, a two as well so it kind of dims it down a little bit right but it, it gives us that illumination okay all right so last thing uh, we'll go back uh, actually we can just go click on one of our uh physically based emissions right and we can go ahead and duplicate one more time so it'll be this one here and this one what we're going to do is go ahead Oh, that's with our layer. So I'm going to delete this one. I don't want that picture on there. Uh, I'm going to delete this one. I want to, yes, I do. Uh, I'm going to go up to one that doesn't have a picture on it. Uh, and then I'll duplicate that one. So I'll duplicate it and I have it here. And this one I'm going to change to a yellow. Uh, and then hit enter. And that one's set at a two. Let's take this one up to a three. Uh, well, three enter uh, and then we'll take this one and apply it to our ball and again we need to refresh so we'll right click go to technical or whatever it doesn't matter and then back uh, and now we have a ball out there with illumination right 
kind of is to show off the tile, right? And again, when you move things around, sometimes it'll uh, go back. I'm going to kind of drag this up quite a bit. And then I'm going to hold down Alt and duplicate it back this way. And then I'll hold down Alt and duplicate it over this way just to give us uh, some other kind of look in there. And maybe I should move this one out of the way and kind of go into my... Uh, I want to get my drag it up and again uh, we can go back to our refresh and there you go now it kind of lights up around there right so you know pretty cool right just something to think about something to play around with right uh, now let's go ahead we'll just i'll just drag that off screen <clears throat> and then uh if you go to your render now you can go to render you could use render in the uh, the properties panel as well or you can just activate it in here and we have it set kind of high we'll go we'll go to let's let's drag this back to back a little bit so i can kind of see how it's going to lay out here yeah, something like that. We'll do a render here. And now there's one last thing here. Uh, we have the Navita denoiser on there. So we're getting all kind of, and it's showing up very nicely. But we can go in here to Bloom as well. And you can see that it kind of makes those pop. And you can kind of just adjust them around. Maybe that intensity bring down a little bit. We just want a slight little bloom off of it, coming off of it. Maybe that's too much. Our piece kind of being there we go and then you can go radius up a little bit so we can get a little bloom coming off of it right uh, and then just kind of wait till it's done and you are good to go but uh, just a little fun something else to think about what you can do with matrix and what cycles has to offer and the engine inside matrix gold <laughs> and believe me there is a ton more and uh, i'm going to hopefully get to it as soon as possible but this is just another uh, rendering video so hopefully it'll help you in your designing process if it does go ahead and please uh, smash that subscribe button hit like and i, I really really would love to see See you at the live show so if you are a member of the academy please go ahead and register the link below thanks for watching and good designing